Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our NFL Week 1 preview between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Chiefs. The Chiefs spent the entire offseason making moves to improve their offense, which is why they bought in Andy Reid and Alex Smith. They signed Anthony Fasano and they drafted Eric Fisher, Travis Kels, and Niall Davis. Now can Reid put the pieces together and make the Chiefs a playoff team? That's the biggest question that has to be answered. They have a good offensive line in place, but the passing game really needs to step up and become a factor in order for these guys to move forward. Defensively, the Chiefs look potent and very impressed with the improvement of Don Terry Poe in the middle. And I've always been a big fan of their linebacking core, which is the best in the AFC West. And they get Eric Berry back at 100% and adding Sean Smith and Dante Robinson alongside Brandon Flowers just strengthens the secondary. But the hope is that Kendrick Lewis at free safety can stay healthy. If he can, that will be huge for what they want to do defensively. Now let's move over to the Jaguars in this game and adding rookies in Luke Joko. Denard Robinson, A. Sanders, it gives the Jags hope on offense. And I think they're solid offensively at the skill positions. And when Blackman returns, it'll just make that offense that much more better. The quarterback position is the biggest concern, and we won't beat that dead horse, but they have to play better. This week versus Kansas City, I expect to see the Jags use multiple double tight end sets to offset the pressure that comes with a 3-4 defense. And speaking of the Jags defense, I actually like what they have on that side of the football. Now, getting pressure is where they have to make the biggest improvement. They got to find a way to get pressure on a quarterback. And their linebacking core is very underrated. And although they're young back there in the secondary, I think they can compete week to week. I actually like some of the moves they made this offseason. And they have an excellent kicking game. So the Jags will be in each and every ball game this season. Now, let's go inside the lab to take a look at some X's and O's for both teams in this matchup. The Kansas City Chiefs do have some unique personnel groupings on this year's football team offensively. You look at tight end Travis Kelce, the rookie out of Cincinnati. Anthony Fasano coming over from the Miami Dolphins. They still have Jamal Charles in the backfield. Andy Reid calling the plays as well as Alex Smith making the throws at quarterback. And I'm going to show you a flood package concept that they can utilize this week versus Jacksonville by getting everybody involved and working with those two tight ends as well as the running backs. So we're going to have a single back formation. I'm going to put the Jamal Charles back here in the backfield. This will be Anthony Fasano, and this will be Travis Kelce. You want to have your two tight end sets. So that way, if you want to check to a run, you got two guys that can get it done in the running game. You have your receiver offset, receiver to the side. Now, in this pass play, you want to turn protection toward, I'm sorry, away from the tight end. You want to turn your protection away from the tight end because what we're going to do here, we're going to show you. Flood protection type of concept. The first route is your first read. Travis Kelce coming across the formation. He's excellent with the ball after the catch. He's your number one option. He's also your built-in hot route. Your second option will be your tight end running a pivot route. He's going to work up at eight yards. He's going to sell that flat hard and pivot back in. That's your second read. This is at eight yards. Gives you two-layered concept. We're going to have two bang posts on the outside versus zone. You want to read the safeties pre-snap. And the pre-snap read will tell you whether or not these guys are going to run bang post or your regular post to the middle so versus zone you want to stem up and hit that bang post to the outside versus man you just want to go straight to the middle straight post boom and this is where we're going to get creative with the back in the backfield jamal charles has the speed to take the top off of a defense we're going to make a ron call ron is telling the running back you're going to motion toward the tight end Roy, I'm sorry, Ray call is telling you the running back is going to motion away from the tight end. So we're going to make a Ron call. It's going to go up. And you want to snap the ball at the point where he splits both tight ends. Why? Because he's shooting up the seam. And this is your third read. So one, your built-in hot route. Two, your pivot route. Three would be Jamal Charles streaking down the middle. And if the Chiefs can have some success this week versus Jacksonville, it's going to be how they can get creative with their personnel in their different personnel groupings. I do believe Alex Smith has the talent to hit that bang post in the hole each and every time so they can have some success in the passing game by getting creative with their different personnel groupings. I'm a big fan of what the Jaguars were able to come away with in the 2013 draft in Ace Sanders and also Denard Robinson, two outstanding talents with unique skill sets. And I'm going to show you how they can utilize both of these guys in the running game this week versus Kansas City. We're going to run a trap play. I'm going to show you how they can design it. Got good old Blaine Gabbert here. We're going to have, this could be either Ace Sanders or Denard Robinson, whomever they want to use to give them the illusion. You're going to have your fullback offset. We're going to have a guy in a slot, no tight end, guy in a slot. And this could be A. Sanders or Denard Robinson. Wide receiver out here, wide receiver out here. And here's 
Your Kansas City Chiefs 3-4 defense, what we're going to have drawn up, you got your backer, tackle, nose, tackle, backer, your two inside guys, free, strong, both your cornerbacks. So we all align properly. Now here's how we can trap these guys and getting the football to A. Sanders or Denor Robinson in the running game. We're going to have Blaine Gabbert reverse pivot, reverse out, fake the toss. We're going to send this guy out here. That's going to hold this backer as he's going to try to rush to get contained here. So that's the show fake. We're also going to have the fullback go up, and his job is to stonewall this five technique. And I'll tell you why in a second. So we're going to have this guy right here, the backside, I'm sorry, backside tackle. He's going to work up, and he's going to block that outside backer because we're trapping this guy here, the five technique, to the weak side. We're also going to have play side guard lead up and get that linebacker blocked center and guard combo with the center leading up to the other inside backer wide receivers are going to try to get that safety try to get the safeties blocked and here's the motion we're going to put this guy in a short motion before the snap and at the snap of the ball he's going to follow the play side tackle that's coming backside to kick out this five technique and as we're reverse pivoting blaine gabbard hands the football off to denar robinson or a sanders into the hole and hopefully for a big game the way you can create space is by creating, creating misdirection. And the Jaguars do have some unique talent, some unique pieces on offense to make that happen. That could result in some big plays versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this matchup for Kansas City. You want to put Alex Smith on the move. He's an athletic guy. He can throw well on the run. Move that pocket for him left to right so that way you can have some success and be a little bit more creative in your offensive attack. And they have to find a number two receiver. That guy has to emerge this week versus Jacksonville. And like I mentioned inside the lab, they have to be able to identify and adjust the personnel groupings and the formations that the Jags will throw at them. I wouldn't be surprised if they have some trickeration drawn up ready to go versus Kansas City. Now for the Jaguars, Gabbard has to beat the Blitz. The Kansas City Chiefs will come in and try to get that downward pressure going throughout the course of the ball game. Gabbard has to make the right read and the right throw at the right time, beat the Blitz, and they can move the football up and down the field versus Kansas City. And you want to protect the perimeter on defense, those outside linebackers and those defensive ends. If they allow Jamal Charles to get to the outside, it could be a house call, so they have to keep him bottled up tackle to tackle, so that way Puzlosny can make plays in the box and they can shut down the running game. And strong safety, Jonathan Cyprian, who's a rookie, has to be able to hold his own in coverage. Andy Reid will find a mismatch in the passing game to try to isolate Cyprian. He's going to have to step up and make those plays consistently. The X Factor for Kansas City will be their quarterback, Alex Smith, who was brought in for this specific reason to get the passing game going and to take some of the pressure off the running game and to loosen up that box. If he can do that, the Chiefs will be fine offensively. The X Factor for the Jaguars will be their offensive coordinator, Jed Fish. And quiet is kept. The Jaguars have some pieces on offense that you can work with. They have a very good tight end in Mercedes Lewis, very good back in the backfield, one of the league's best and Maurice Jones-Drew. They're getting back Justin Blackman after week four. Cecil Shorts is an outstanding receiver as well as two rookies that can step in and make some big plays. It's all about putting these guys in position to be successful. I like Kansas City in this ball game. I think defensively, they will do a great job of smothering what Jacksonville wants to do offensively. However, the Jags can make some big plays, and this is week one. But when I look at the Chiefs as a whole, offensively, they can run the football. Defensively, they can stop the run, and they can get out to the quarterback. I think that would be enough to come away victorious on the road. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Chief Fan Forums and Jaguar Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.